Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. So let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and browse this URL kali.org and download Kali Linux ISO image. Click on this download link. I already have downloaded it on my machine. After a successful download, open VirtualBox. If you don't have installed VirtualBox on your system, you will find a link in video description how to install VirtualBox. Okay, now I am going to create a new virtual machine. Click on this button or you can create a new virtual machine from here. name this virtual machine now select iso image click on this drop down icon then click on others select kali linux iso image open click on next now modify virtual machines hardware by changing amount of ram and virtual cpu count increase the base memory as much as possible and then increase the number of cpu then click on next now create a virtual hard disk you can increase the size of hard disk then click on next click on finish now open settings and then select display increase the video memory now select export tab and then display and then enable 3d acceleration and also select system and enable extended features and also select graphics controller vms vga then click on ok now start virtual machine you can enable a scaled mode now select graphical install option hit enter now choose the language to be used for the installation process hit enter select your location hit enter and also select keyboard layout hit enter to continue it may take a while for loading additional components from installation media now enter the host name for this system then click on continue or press enter key now enter the domain name if you don't have a domain name you can leave this blank click on continue now enter the full name for the new user click on continue now select a username for the new account and then click on continue now choose a password for the new user click on continue select your time zone using up and down arrow key then click on continue the installer can guide you through partitioning a disk or if you prefer you can do it manually with guided partitioning you will still have a chance later to review and customize the results if you choose guided partitioning for an entire disk you will next be asked which disk should be used i am going to select the first option click on continue then click on continue now select the first option it is recommended for new users 
now select finish partitioning and write changes to disk option click on continue select yes option click on continue it may take a while for installing the base system at the moment only the core of the system is installed the default selections below will install Kali Linux with its standard desktop environment and the default tools. You can customize it by choosing a different desktop environment or a different collection of tools. If you want to install Genome desktop environment, check this box and if you don't want to install this default desktop environment, uncheck then click on continue but i am going to install the default desktop environment it may take a while Now install the grub bootloader to your primary drive, select yes and then click on continue. You need to make the newly installed system bootable by installing the grub bootloader on a bootable device. So select this and click on continue. That's it. Installation is complete. Now click on continue. Now hit enter. Now enter the username. Then enter the password. Hit enter. To login that's it now enjoy Kali Linux on VirtualBox If you want to stop the virtual machine, go to the virtual box manager and select virtual machine running, right click on the mouse and click on stop then select power off. That's it. If you are new to this channel, subscribe this channel and like, comment, share. Thank you so much for watching this video.